what is good everybody welcome back to another destiny 2 video it's your boy bowl cereal coming at you with another one so today we're gonna be talking about this little fella right here the season of dawn badge and uh, uh, savior title so um, I've been chasing this recently and uh, by the time you're seeing this I don't have it still because I'm still waiting for whatever the Imperium restoration foundation effort to you know be done and concluded uh, we're at like I think six out of or no five out of seven uh, slots done so I want to just go over everything in this you know seal to kind of give you guys like give you guys a one-stop shop for this triumph um, so I hope you guys enjoy the video I've worked really hard on it um, and yeah you know the time swap show is locked behind a triumph called the global resonance in which you would have to either level up one obelisk 40 times or each obelisk 10 times I found it easier to level up each obelisk 10 times but if you don't want to do that and travel around the solar system then the other option of 40 times is open to you as well now dawn badge is composed of 24 items and they are as as follows a full set of this season's righteous armor the three emblems and shaders from the tower vendors the three pinnacle weapons from this season from the tower vendors as well as the seasons past exotic symmetry and roadmap exotics devil's ruin and bastion and last but not least the six obelisk weapons which I won't go into detail about how to get but just know they can be acquired through runs in the sundial and obelisk bounties the righteous armor set is acquired through this season's pass for a season of dawn these tend to drop at high stat rolls so don't discard any armor the vendor specific emblems are tactician no quarters and team player the tactician emblem will require you to get points boss kills and solar kills to complete this first part that's right there's a first part and a second part the second part has you do much of the same but 675 solar kills are needed to complete this second part a good way to knock this out is to hop into nightfall solo and farm lost sector ads you will see what you have to do on screens for part one and two for tactician as well as the objectives for no quarter and team player Symmetry comes from the season pass. It's a reward either from the first box if you're a season pass owner or as you level along I think it's like to level 35 you might get this um, It's a great weapon go get it. You need it for the triumph Devil's Ruin is that Sidearm that everybody's been using um, It's a really great sidearm. It has a very short quest to it some nice lore at the end of it as well um, but you pick up your your original devil's run quest from a run in the sundial you will then go to saint 14 in the tower remember you must have saint 14 in the tower so if, if he isn't showing up for you you might want to do those two missions uh, to save saint 14 that will also give you a triumph and it's called saintly savior once you return to saint 14 He'll send you on a mission to go retrieve the time lost relics in Twilight Gap. The next exotic, Bastion. This was the exotic that everybody was speculating would be, um, I think it was uh, Ray's Lighter. Um, the, it ended up being the roadmap exotic fusion rifle. Basically, what you have to do for this is you go through the corridors of time, you enter in the puzzle, and you sit here and you know wait through your whole funeral or whatever. 
and then you will get a quest. The quest will drop from where you stand, and you will have to go on this adventure throughout the solar system, uh, you know, killing powerful fallen, killing powerful captains, and eventually, if you follow all the right steps, you will get this exotic. I'll put a full in-depth guide in the description of this video on how to get Bastion if you don't already know how to get it. The three pinnacle weapons from the season vendors are Komodo for Crucible, Python for Gambit, and Buzzard for Vanguard. If you guys already don't have these, I'll just run through it really quickly for those who you know don't have them. Uh, but those who do have them, you can skip this. For the buzzard, I would just put on a sidearm with full auto trigger system. Uh, most likely, you would want it to be solar so you can kill two birds with one stone. Because as I said before, tactician requires you to get solar kills. And you might be wanting to knock those uh, 674, 675 kills before uh, you, you get done with this. Python. Python, what you would want to do is go on and put two shotguns on. Most likely you would want to get a heavy shotgun. And I'm pretty sure the only heavy shotgun is Legend of Acrius. So if you want to do that, it's a good DPS weapon. So if you want to mount those bosses, you go right on ahead and put that on. Ikelos is a very good shotgun still, even after the nerf. I'm pretty sure you guys still know that. Uh, don't put on triple shotguns though. Uh, and mainly don't put on a primary shotgun and a secondary shotgun because you do not want to be splitting that special ammo. I'm telling you it's annoying when you go for a slide shotgun on an enemy and and you run out of ammo because you're splitting and sharing that ammo between two guns. The Komodo, what you want to do is just go into the back of a crucible map with Arbalus. I swear it has unlimited range. If your shot is good enough, just aim for the head. It's a one shot kill every time. And basically you do that until you get to 40 kills, 40 headshot kills, I think, and it's 125 kills in total. Uh, heroic rank, that's not that bad to get if those who are watching this aren't as good at, at PvP. Uh, I do help live streams. I can start doing help live streams again here on the channel. Uh, I can help you get to heroic rank if you guys need help with this. So remember to stop by the channel and you know ask me for help. Once you have the season of dawn badge triumph completed, you should only need ten more triumphs until you get this seal. Those ten being. Link Repair, Saintly Savior, Inotam's Ruin, Flayer Slayer, Race Through Time, Undefeatable, Torchbearer, Bastion, Devil's Ruin, and Legendary Scion. I only say 10 more because you should already have Global Renaissance done in order to complete the Season of Dawn Badge Triumph. And actually, you should also have Devil's Ruin and Bastion by the time you complete the Season of Dawn badge triumph so really it's only eight so link repair requires you to repair the tower obelisk and you need all four renaissance pieces to complete it basically what you do is you complete bounties that are available at each planetary obelisk flayer slayer requires you to defeat all three of the rotating bosses in the sundial. This can be done on regular difficulty and maybe on legendary difficulty, I haven't tried. And Notem's Ruin requires you to defeat the sundial boss in Notem. 
on regular difficulty this can also be completed on legendary difficulty because i have done it on legendary difficulty trying to complete the legendary sign of triumph and i actually got both of these done at the same time saintly savior requires you to, to complete the two missions that actually save saint 14 and bring him back to the tower after that you would want to complete the race through time triumph which requires you to complete a speed run of the sundial in under 14 minutes i have no idea how i got this <laughs> I, I am actually just reading what you have to do for this and i don't know how i got it done it must be really easy just run right through it don't worry about the enemies undefeatable is the triumph that i had the most trouble with as completing a sundial run without dying is pretty hard when it's basically a horde mode but what i've noticed is if you get rat king and you are on a hunter you can go invisible with rat king once you get a kill and you can also go on bottom tree night stalker or top tree whichever one has the uh, vanish and smoke ability and you can go invisible twice so that ups your chances of not dying as long as you slip away to cover nobody will really see you if you are on a warlock or a titan just stick with rat king or if you don't have rat king by any chance you can equip crimson crimson is an exotic hand cannon that every time you get a kill it procs health regen it's very annoying in the crucible and it's actually pretty good in the crucible now so i'm sure tons of you who like play destiny know who the, know what this is and ha already have it torchbearer is what we are all waiting for at the time of this recording um when you guys are seeing this i've already completed this triumph but we are waiting for the mission worthy to allow us to light the beacon of the Empyrean restoration foundation effort and allowing us to complete this torchbearer triumph but in order to get this triumph done you will need to light the beacon uh, and complete the Empyrean restoration effort so and that's it guys i uh, hope you guys enjoyed uh welcome to those new viewers i hope you enjoyed the video hope you found it informative uh and i hope you guys like just enjoyed your time here on the channel uh subscribe if you're new like if if you like the video uh you know give it a thumbs up and i'll see you guys in the next one peace